I'm only immersed when I'm winning. Hello, 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 hi. Hi, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, 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 hello. Happy Thursday. It's Thursday. Hi. How are you? It's me. It's Chester. Yo. Hi, everyone. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. How's your week been going? How are you? I'm celebrating Thursday hard, TBH. Hell yeah. What the heck? What's the occasion? It just being Thursday? Is it- is it thirsty? Hi everyone! Hope you're doing well. I'm doing pretty good. We're, we got some art to do today. Got some art to do. Uh, this is my last week before I go on my trip, so... I will be gone from... Starting... Well, starting Monday to the end of the month. Um, so there won't be streams from then on, but... You know, I still got a few more streams left in me. Um... I just wanted to announce that ahead of time. But it's going to be a good day today. We're going to make it a good day. I'm excited about that. Chester, last day? No! No, 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 no. Uh, I should be streaming this weekend. Unless something comes up. But I don't think anything will. No more- What? No! No! Uh, wow, you can't wait, huh? You can't wait. You can't wait to get rid of me. Nah. God ain't done with me yet. As far as I know. Can't get rid of me that easily. Will you bring us pics from your trip? Uh, yeah, sure, I'll try, yeah. Um, I know that my parents want to take a lot of photos, and my mom was like, you gotta get a haircut. You look disgusting. So, I did. I got a haircut. And I look, I want to say, marginally less disgusting now. Um, so I got that working out. It's always about the hair. I know, right? Well, I guess that's the only thing you can really do anything about, right? No one, no one's gonna be like, can you fix your face? Because you're gonna ruin our photos. It's like, what, what can you do? With a haircut, it's like, okay. Well, you know what? You'd be surprised. I mean, like, a good haircut can really... Uh, a good haircut can make a man or break him. I don't know if my haircut's good or not, but... It definitely is less unruly. I had like a big helmet on my head. Big helmet of hair. But I got that. Oh my gosh, don't tell me I'm yawning right uh, at the top of the show. My god. Exclamation point. Sleepy. New haircut reveal? No. No, uh, no. I'm a VTuber. I never have to reveal anything. Never. Never ever. Nope. Alright, let's move on over to the chatting screen. Whoa! What the heck? Everyone is here! What the heck? We got a really full class today. Look at this! Look at this! Let's zoom out a little bit. Wow! Wow! That's a lot of people. Holy cow. That's good. That's a good sign. That's a great sign, I would even say. Two weeks is eternity? Two weeks will go by so fast, I promise you. I promise you it'll go so fast. Although I do feel like I'll be away for a long time, so I'm sorry about that. I am sorry. I am sorry. I honestly... 
you know, I am looking forward to spending time with my family and seeing new things, going to new places. But in my heart, I really just want to work more. Like, I, there's a lot of stuff I need to do for streams, for stuff that's not on stream. Like, I just want to work, to be honest. But I don't know. I don't really get to travel with my family that often. So I feel like, um, yes, I am excited. But, you know, I almost feel a little guilty because it's like, I should be more excited. I, I should be more excited. I love my family. But I'm just, my head is in, is in my work right now, and I don't know. I don't know. I just, I, I you know, I can't wait to get back to be, <laughs> I haven't even left yet. I don't know what's wrong with me. Uh, but I gotta, I, I think I have to just change mindset. Maybe it, once I get on the plane, um, maybe I'll, maybe I'll start to, like, get used to the idea of traveling. I'm, I'm very much a sedentary otter you know Chester should take a break I don't know I don't I feel like I don't work hard enough you know I just I, I, I don't know I work fairly hard I think but somehow there's just so much stuff that it needs doing I don't know but I gotta broaden my horizons and I don't know if they say I've had, I've had several art teachers tell me that, you know, experiencing life will make you a better artist. But, but what do they know, man? What do they fucking know? Pfft, whatever. They'll be like, yeah, um, you can't make art unless you have experiences to base that art off of. And I'm like, what? What about, um, uh, but, uh, but what about being, what about making art about being a coomer, huh? Hmm? Never thought of that. And they're like, shit, you're right. Here, you, you get to be the teacher now. That happens. It's real. Uh, it's true. That's right. It's me. The Coomer Otter. I don't- I have to experience anything. I don't have to leave my basement. Um, I'm just- I'm fucking gooning from the- from the- from dusk till dawn. Anyway, anyway, how are, how are you? Let's, enough about me. That's enough about this otter. You've heard enough. You've heard enough. How, tell me how you're doing. I want to hear about you. What's something exciting that has been happening in your life, huh? Hmm? Touche. I want to turn the tables around on you, huh? Hmm? Huh? Streamer ignoring my resub? Oh, shit. Wait, is it your birthday? What the heck? Hey, yo, today is my birthday. What's up? Oh, my God. Whoa, 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 whoa. Here I am. Talking about myself. When it's Poppy Seed's birthday today. Happy birthday. Everyone wish Poppy Seed a happy birthday. And thank you so much for the resub. 20 months. That's a freaking lot of months. You know how many hands and toes I'll need to count that many months? I'll need a lot of you. Thank you, thank you. Have a, I hope you're having an awesome birthday so far. Thank you, thank you. And, don't think I forgot you, Samaki. Thank you so much for the resub as well. Thank you, thank you. I really, really appreciate it. Holy cow. Thank you. Um, 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 Hey, it's the cute furry streamer, my friend Shobi. Yo, shout out to your friend and you. Dang. Welcome on in, welcome, welcome. We're gonna do a little, uh, little chill art stream today. Hope you have an awesome, lovely stay. Happy birthday! Yeah, happy I birthday to Poppy Seed, I'm sure. There's gotta be, like, someone in chat being like, oh, I'm too shy to say that it's also yes, my birthday. Well, guess what? Happy birthday to you, too. What? What? Whoa. 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 What am I putting on my head? What do we got here today? What's on the docket? What do we got? Bepis. A party hat? Oh, I think I might have one in my bag. Party. Chester's eyes are kind of funky, and the maid suit see. is hot. Birthday. Birthday. Birthday hat. Birthday hat. Let's put that behind my head. Whoa! That's a really big birthday cone. Let's put that over here. Okay. Got that, and get rid of this hat. Boom! 
Look at this. I have... I have a spike on my head. Heck yeah. It's Pi Day? Oh my gosh, you're right. It is Pi Day. What? You gotta have a birthday pie. I have several pies lined up for today. Whoa, several? That's exciting. What the heck? What the flip? What the scallop? The power of being po born on Pi Day. I know, you're like a math baby. A math head. That sounds wrong somehow. Mmm, I was going to order a Chicago-style pizza pie for Pi Day? Whoa, that's awesome. That sounds really tasty. I'm smoking weed and drawing a lot today. Hell yes, that's how I want to be. Dang. Math stream when? Uh, uh, um, never. It's just, it's not adding up for me. I share a birthday with Einstein? No way Einstein was born on Pi Day. Ain't no way. That shit is a little bit too on the nose. That is too on the nose. Einstein birthday. No fucking way. What? Does E equals MC squared have anything to do with circles? Because because if 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 it does then I fucking, I, I fucking, Einstein was a hoax, I'm pretty sure. Nothing? A dozen? Oh, okay, okay, never mind. That's normal then. It's just a coincidence. Um, all right. Okay, we're good. We're good, we're good. It just feels a little bit like, oh, the, the guy that's good at, um, fucking theoretical physics, which I assume has circles. I assume theoretical physics has circles. Is it theoretical? I don't know what kind of physics that Einstein does. But he's got a theory of relativity. And that sounds theoretical to me. So, I, I just feel like everything has circles. Yeah, especially- Whoa! Dang. What kind of birthday party is this? I look like I wasn't even invited. Damn. Damn. Punk party. Yeah, punk party. Why am I the only one dressed up in punk? What the heck? Was I... Am I at the right place right now? What, what's going on? What is going on? Party crash otter. Chester, party crasher. You are the main attraction. Whoa. Am I like the stripper that's hiding inside the cake? and I bust out of it. Is that my job? I think I missed the memo. Thank you for the pets. Thank you, thank you. Hope everyone's... Oh my gosh. One day, I'll stop yawning. One day, when I'm dead. Uh, I'm sorry about the yawning. I hope I'm not making anyone tired. Um, 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 I hope everyone's having a good day, especially if it's your birthday. I hope it's even better than everyone else's day. I don't care how, how good your day is. If it's not your birthday, you better make way for someone's day to be better than yours. Um, but overall, I hope everyone's day is good. Just generally speaking, uh, we're going to be doing some art. And uh, if you're not having a good day, well, I think that there's still time to make it a good day. Or at least an average day. I think there's... The, the night is young. For me, it's not even nighttime. So it's like, the night hasn't even been born yet. The night has yet to be conceived. Um, so, there you go. Cheater makes any day better. Cheater! That's me. Cheater the Otter. All I saw was Cheaty the Cheapskate! Uh, you're kind of cool. Can I have your number? Can I share my slice of pizza with you? What? You already took a bite out of the pizza, though. I don't want that. You can have your- you can have your pizza, thanks. Nah. Nah, I'm good. Okay. What kind of art are we doing today, you might ask? You might be asking that. And to that I say, we are doing more... 
of these little chibi background characters. You see all these lovely critters in the back? So, you know how I'm going to be gone for two weeks starting Monday? Uh, guess what? You can still subscribe at tier 3, even though I know it's a lot lamer to subscribe when you're- when the streamer is not live. But, if you want to be part of this art raffle, we're doing last month's uh, winners, and next month I'm going to pick this month's winners. If you still want to participate, you can, because I'm counting all tier 3 subs that are, um, self-subscribed, no gift subs, uh, will be counting for this because of Twitch's rules. Um, but for all self-subscriptions at Tier 3, there will be an art raffle. I will pick a couple winners, and you will get a chance to show up randomly in my background forever, or as long as you like. Um, so, you'll have all of the all of that time to do so. Um, that is, that's my incentive so far. Also, as an added bonus, every Tier 3 subscription this month will be in the credits. For uh, the video game that I'm working on, I am working on a game. It's nothing too crazy, you know, it's not huge or amazing or ambitious or whatever. Well, it is for me, it's ambitious for me, but all, all things considered, you know, it's it's a very small game. Uh, I will be adding every tier 3 sub, all of them, to the credits as uh, you'll be credited as a supporter. You know, it's kind of like being like a, a Kickstarter backer or like a Patreon sub, except it's not it, it, because it's on Twitch. But that's another incentive. I don't know, just a little cute little detail. I, it's not like the biggest deal, but it's just it's just to show my appreciation. Um, that's for tier three subs. Uh, please consider it. I'm trying to reach um, 300 plus points so that I can get the better revenue split. Those are Twitch's rules. That would be nice. It would support the channel a lot, the Twitch channel, um, and I would be happy, and I would work on more stuff and be like, yay, we did it. We did it, Reddit. Um, your lead dev on GTA 6? Yeah, GTA 6. Um, great... Uh... Uh... uh <laughs> yeah, um, good... Uh... F oh, shit. Go going to, uh, otter, spelled with an A, six, that's my game, yeah, <laughs> uh, anyway, fucking whatever, do you have an inner monologue, I do have an inner monologue, I also talk to myself all the time, mostly because I started streaming, but I'm really bad at picturing that apple, you know, I'm good at picturing apples that are in front of me, like this one over here. Like that one. That apple right there. Um... That one. But the apple inside your brain, I have a really hard time seeing. Um, it's like really, really fuzzy. But I can kind of sort of make it out. Um, but I do have an internal monologue. Sometimes I wish my inner demons would shut the fuck up. Yeah, a lot of classmates today. Yo, welcome on in, welcome, welcome. Have a seat. I'm just talking about the art raffle. Um, tier three subs. Uh ba 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 ba. I do appreciate it a lot. Thank you for all the support, everyone. Thank you, thank you. Um, let's do some art. Heck yeah, let's do some art. Let's do some flippin' art. Let me open up what I've worked on so far. I've got Yatoro, I've got Cedric Fox. Let me open that up and then I'll share my screen. Let me do that. Let's see. Where is uh, Cedric Fox? There you are. Brain Apple. Yeah, you don't know about the Brain Apple. You you know about the thirty-seven-year-old diner that serves Brain Apples the old-fashioned way. You don't worry about it. <laughs> don't don't freaking worry about it. Cedric Fox is here. Yatro is here. Heck yes, perfect attendance. You get bonus points. Scream sharing. Oh my gosh. Ah! You know, when when I was in school, they did a thing called the Primal Scream. And um, it was at the start of every finals week. Everyone goes out into the quad, which is just like a part in, in the middle of the campus. Everyone goes out at midnight and just freaking gathers into a huge crowd. There's probably like 300 people like standing there in the dark. And they all freaking scream at the top of their lungs. 
Primal Scream is a real thing. I kind of miss that. You don't really get to do that anymore. Well, you can, but someone will probably call the cops. <sighs> oh my gosh, they should freaking do like a, like a murder mystery game where like someone gets murdered during Primal Scream because it's like the perfect crime. That's just a cool idea. Do not steal. <laughs> The primal murder. Like, it's like college murder mystery. Like, you know, no one hears you scream. Because everyone else is screaming. New Columbo episode? I don't even know what Columbo is. Already stealing it? Damn it! <laughs> Damn. Whatever, they say ideas are cheap. Ideas are, are worth, um, what do they say? I don't know, whatever. Talk is cheap, they say. A lot of things are cheap. Already did it. Damn. Damn, you're fast. Um, I had senior lawn day. We stayed in the quad all day and it was hot and terrible. We had a bouncy house. What? A sweaty, hot, bouncy house? That sounds unsanitary. I'd rather just scream and be done with it. Big ol' scream. Hmm. Bananas are cheap. Are they? Are they? Bananas are getting more expensive. How much are bananas now? It's one banana. How much could it cost? One banana in the hand is worth two in the bush. Whoa, is that, a, is that two bananas in your bush or are you just excited to see my stream? Huh? Bananas are still cheap. Okay, that's good. We gotta keep bananas cheap. You know what's cheap? Costco rotisserie chicken. Hell yeah. I, I don't I literally don't know how they keep Costco rotisserie chicken still five dollars. Um Cause you wanna buy like a freaking Dave's double at Wendy's, that shit's like fifteen bucks or whatever. I don't know, it's like what? Are you kidding me? Anyway, whatever. You've heard me get into it before. I'm not gonna get into it again. I won't do it. I promised myself I wouldn't talk about Wendy's burgers. Uh, yeah. Heck yeah. Let's see. Uh, let's switch on over here. Um, to this and this and this and this. And whoop. Whoop. It's cheaper than buying raw chicken. No, literally. What the heck? Yeah, raw chicken is like that much money. It, it, it's more. I feel like a pound of chi uh, like a one pound chicken breast is like five bucks as opposed to a whole ass chicken. Maybe even more. Maybe it's like six bucks. I don't know. I haven't gone grocery shopping in a while. I haven't. I don't know what the prices are like nowadays. Hmm. Uh, I've just been eating dirt. Dirt is still free. Thank God. Um. Hmm. So this, this lovely fox here is Cedric Fox. We love it. Dirt is more expensive. No, not my dirt. I grow my own dirt. What the heck? Dude, what the heck? I literally just, I pressed the space bar and it almost, I almost ended my stream. For some reason, OBS was like... I, I, it literally stopped my, my recording. I record every, every VOD. And hitting space bar, like, it hit the button next to stop streaming. That's really weird and I don't know how to turn that off. Um, hopefully I don't have that problem again. Okay, that was scary. So I guess my VOD's gonna be broken up into two different freaking videos now, thanks. Awesome, great. Thanks OBS, we love that. Don't ever hit space again. Space is how I pan, I like to pan around with space. And uh, zooming in, zooming in. So this is Cedric Fox, very cute. We haven't animated them yet, but we've been drawing them. Um, and this is Yataro, very cute, adorable. Look at those, look at those freaking toes. 
Look at those murder claws. Very cute. Very good. I love the colors. Royal blue was a good choice. It's really growing on me here. Um, we like that. Gotta love the murder claws, yeah. Yeah, you, you, we love murder claws, up until they're the part where they murder you. Um, so we got that. And now we're doing Graycon. No, 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 that's Grey Walf. That's not Graycon, that's Grey Walf. So we gotta put Grey Walf inside the box. We gotta put Grey Walf in the box, because that's the wrong Grey. Boop. Let's let's get our uh, uh, gray con art, a reference drawing. It is. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Why am I like this? I literally have never not been sleepy in my life, ever. I don't even know what it's like. Uh, let's import an image to the library. Boom. Put that in there. Walfcon. No. 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 We're not ready for that yet. Is that like Dashcon? <laughs> Everyone's bopping with their wealth masks on. I'd like to see that. Oh my gosh, I'm sitting funny and I already know my foot is falling asleep. Hang on, let me... <sighs> let me readjust myself. Make sure your posture is good. You don't, don't be like me. Oh gosh. I want a nap now. Do it. Do it, you won't, unless you're at work. Sit serious? Ugh, I don't want to sit serious. My feet are cold when I sit serious. I literally only sit on my feet because my feet are cold otherwise. But if I put socks on, then my feet get sweaty. My life is so hard, chat. My life is so hard. My feet are cold. They're sweaty. I'm sleepy. I want to take a nap. Dude, I may as well just freaking... um. <laughs> Not gonna finish that sentence. <laughs> Thank you for the pets. Thank you. All right, where 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 do we put this? Uh, where do we put this reference drawing? I want to make a new layer called Ref. Meep Mew, you took the words right out of my mouth. Gosh darn it. Boom. Look at that drawing. I think it's really cute. If I had, if, if, if my opinion, no one asked, but I think it's cute. If you want to hear my opinion, there it is. Did care plus did ask plus I love you. All right, we can get rid of this sketch because we won't be needing that anymore. Boom, get out of here. I'm gonna drag the white box over here. Let's think about layering for a second here. How are we gonna do the layers? I feel like this could get really complicated, so I might wanna keep it simple. Like if I wanna separate the ears, Then I'd have to separate the horns into like the behind horns and the above horns. So I think I want to keep everything in one layer. Just because these aren't supposed to be terribly uh, uh, complex. I think I want to keep the head as one shape. But I will separate the eyes, I think. I feel like a blink would be really nice. So head, eyes... Head, eyes, and uh, legs, I think I want to... We could do the legs separate. Okay. Let's do head. Eyes. Should I do the arms separate? Oh, we got the uh, torso. And um, we definitely want to do the back arm. Back arm. Put that over here. 
you know what? It, it won't hurt. It won't hurt. Let's do the uh, front arm. Front arm. And then we'll do... Uh, leg L and leg R. Oh. I want to just call in leg one and two just because I'm not in the business of trying to figure out which one's the le which one is left for the character versus left for me I, I, you know it doesn't matter right now i don't think we need to like have it be super you know fleshed out consistent naming convention and all that stuff we can do uh leg Maybe one for the left one face. leg two for you the freeze. right one and uh why don't i just follow that and just do arm one and arm two We can keep that consistent for the project, but I haven't used one and two in any of the other ones. I think that's okay. Oh, oh gosh. Um, let's see what's going on. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I got the eyes. Okay. All right. Uh, here's what I'll do. I'll duplicate the reference layer. Make it full opacity. And I will move that right here, just because I need the uh, color reference here. That's all I'll need for that. Make that a little bit bigger. So it'll be easier to color pick from. Then I'll lock that. Lock that and I'll do, I'll, I'll call this one ref color. Turn the white box back on and uh, then we'll get right into it, I guess. Let's get down and dirty. Who's with me, huh? All right. Let me just adjust my setup a little bit. Okay. It's time to freaking work. Let's do this. Let's go to our brush and let's start to draw the outline. What outline is this? What uh, line thickness? Four? That's good. There we go. How do we like that? Mm, let me just tidy this cheek up a little bit. And tidy that up. I 
I'm spending way too long on this one cheek. I'm spending way too long on this one cheek. Here's what I want to try. Um, I'm going to try selecting everything. Let's go into uh, modify. And uh, shape and smooth. Let's see what that does. Does that do anything for us? That does kind of, it does kind of smooth it out a little bit. I like that. I should use that more. Okay. Common Chris obsession with cheeks. Cheeks make a man. Is what I always say. Hi, Hal. How are you? Hope you're having a good day. Alright, let's see. What do we think about the statement, shoes make the outfit? Do we agree with that? Because I put very little thought into the shoes I wear for my outfits. I basically only wear one pair of sneakers at a time. I'm not, like, picking my shoes for the outfit. Is that a normal thing to do? Like, am I supposed to be, like, like thinking which shoes go with my outfit today? If it's for an interview... Hmm. I guess so. I only have one pair of Converse. Hell yeah. You're hired. If it's... It's the clothing that makes the outfit, not only the shoes. Are shoes clothing? Are, are shoes attire? Yeah, right? I feel like shoes are like equipment. Mm, thank you for the boop. Thank you. I have one pair of shoes for normal stuff and one for fancy stuff like interviews or weddings. Right, right. Like, I don't have, like, dress shoes. I don't have, like, a whole set of dress shoes. All I have are hand-me-down dress shoes from my brother or my dad. And they're, like, okay, I guess. But they're always so pointy. Like, why are shoes so... Okay, all right. Like, no offense for anyone who has, like, feet like this, but, like, my feet look like this, right? This is my foot. Here's a zoomed out image of me. That's me, right? That's me. And that's my foot. Right? Feet re yeah, exactly. Feet reveal. Right, 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 right. Right, but here's what I'm confused about, right? Why are shoes, like... There are literally, like, dress shoes look like this. They're, like... I don't know. They look like this. Okay. Like, how the hell am I supposed to put these bi these puppies in something that's shaped like this, though? Like, what the hell? It's to make your design look more Vivzy Pop? True. That's true. You're, you're sure not using the wrong size? No, because... If I get the right size for my foot, it's still gonna be like, it's still gonna be like, my toes are like this. I, I can't even, I don't know how many toes I have. I haven't counted. But then there's like all this fucking empty space here. Like, is that normal? Or do people actually have feet that are like, which is fine. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. You know, I'm not shaming, right? I just, I've never really seen that before i guess <laughs> you know what i mean you're supposed to have space in front of the toes but why what does that achieve is it for like kicking someone in the nuts if your interviewer asks you a stupid question like um how many um windows would uh how much would you charge to paint to clean every window in chicago like they ask you that shit those fucking questions you could like kick them in the nuts that's the correct answer, by the way, is, um, 
if they ask you some shit like one of those like infamous like interview questions where they're just trying to like ask you some random shit to see how you respond uh you kick them in the nuts because i ain't answering that shit that has nothing to do with the job and you know it like what is this a joke to you like you think this is a game like i need money and you're asking me some random ass bullshit like how many omelets would does it take to freaking feed a cow like shut the fuck up like this may be a game to you but this is my life and say goodbye to your nuts Anyway, I've never had a um, interview where they asked me that shit, but I've heard stories. Thankfully, all the interviews I've done, which is not even that many, but they were normal. <laughs> like, tell me about yourself. Um, you know, what, what what experience do you have? Blah, blah, shit like that. Uh, when I had when I had my interview for an internship at a, a game studio, one of the questions they asked me was... Um, What was it? It was something like, I'm paraphrasing really hard because I can't remember, it's a few years ago, but it was something like, what was a game that you played where some part of the game like really bothered you? Uh, like, some as what, like, what aspect was that? And like, what, something was something like that. Like, what was like a criticism you had about a game? And um, I said, the UI in Mario Run doesn't really look good. <laughs> Like, in Mario Run, like, when they make the UI, like, super polished and, like, clean and, like, glossy looking, and everything else is, like, I don't know. I just thought that shit was ugly and that shit really bothered me, and that was, like, that was, that was the truth. That was the truth. Did you get the job? Well, I did, I did, I did get the job. I don't think they were super impressed with that answer. <laughs> but they were like, yeah, that makes sense. Um, it wasn't like, slam dunk, you're fucking hired. Like, we got you. Let's see... Um, if Chester emo, where is the black eyeliner? I'm not emo, I'm punk. But that's a good question, though. Where is my black eyeliner? I want to know who took it. Someone ate it? You ate it? That's not right. You spit that out. Now your insides are emo. You did that. You gotta listen to some exciting music. No wonder you're so EP. What the hell? We're working though. What kind of music do you work to normally? Um, what like what 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 are some what are some suggestions here? What's a good working music? Because I know some people who listen to really energetic music. I know some people who listen to, like, not energetic music. Video game music is good for focusing, I, I find. Um, But to be honest, when I really get in the zone, I pick one song that's been stuck in my head and I play it on loop. Like, I'll, like, I'll, I'll listen to one song for hours. Just because I'm not even, like, thinking about it. Like, it, like, blends into the background for me. Um... That, I do that a lot, but I obviously can't do that on stream because everyone would go crazy. Literally crazy. Um, That's the best way to hate a song. It's not about the song, though. You know, if I have to burn out a song to get the work done, I'll do it. Yeah, you know, sometimes you have to sacrifice a song to get the work done. Ambient, slightly repetitive music. Yeah, me too, me too. Jack Stalber. That's a good choice. Final Fantasy boss music. Whoa, yeah. Final stretch music. I can't listen to music when I do work. It's too distracting. Whoa. I just burped really loud, but I muted. Yeah, that's right. These burps ain't free, you know? They ain't 
freaking free. When the burp redeem. <laughs> Gotta earn it. Uh, let's see. There's a let's play of Omicron Nomad Soul. I, I, I don't know about that. Interesting. I'll have to look into it. How are you? I'm doing really good. I'm doing really good. How are you? Uh, welcome, welcome, Sir Link. I'm doing a little more art today. I thought about finishing Mario. Uh, Mario is missing. And to be honest, I want to finish it. But I don't know if anyone wants to watch me finish that game. I want to finish it, though. I want to find Mario. I don't know what's going to happen. Mario is depending on us. Hmm. What should the outline of the hair be? I think the hair definitely needs an outline. A lot of this is lineless, but for some things that are super bright, like the hair, I do want an outline. Let's make it a lighter gray like this. Mario is still missing, unfortunately. Do Paper Mario 64 instead. That's a commitment, isn't it? I don't know if I'm ready for that. Don't you know? I'm afraid of commitment. Drawing, I'm just drawing hair, hair, um, hair blobs here. Struggling, but I'm trying. Let's see. Meow, 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 meow. My name, meow, meow, meow. Okay, people actually like unironically thought that Mario is missing sucks, and I'm here to say I actually like it. I don't know. I kind of like that game. People in chat were like, this sucks. I'm like, what? Man, gamers, gamers are hard to please, okay? What do you, what do you want in a game? That's, it's got everything for me. It's like they made that game just for me. Let's see, how do I like this? I grew up playing that game, it's hard to say. Where do you rank it compared to Mario World or Yoshi's Island? Oh fuck. Okay, well, listen. I don't I don't know. Why why do we gotta rank them, you know? I mean like I, I don't wanna pit two powerful women against each other, you know? It's bad? No! Uh... <laughs> I think we, it's just a matter of perspective. Like, what what is good, even? And why do games have to be quote-unquote good? Why do they have to contort themselves into your definition of what a good game is? Why can't the art just speak for itself? So yeah, maybe it sucks. But that's okay. Oh shit, I'm, I'm I'm drawing backwards right now. Uh, um, you know, I there's a lot of 2D Mario games I haven't played, namely most of them. I've only played like Yoshi's Island, which I don't barely even counts. Cuz Mario's a baby. But like the original uh Super Mario and shit, like I've never beaten those. I've only played a bit of it. So maybe I got to do that on stream one day. I've played more 3D Marios than 2D Marios, and there's only, like, a handful of 3D ones. Play Super Paper Mario? Shit, that shit doesn't count. I mean, the actual Mario games. Play Super Mario 3? It's one of my faves. 
for someone who's like a hardcore Mario 2D Mario fan, what's the good starter one for someone who has, hasn't really like, just pretend I haven't played any of them. Like what's like, you're trying to get someone into games like retro Mario games. Like what, what do I start with? Wonder? Ah shit, I have to buy Wonder. <laughs> I do want to play Wonder, it looks really good. Mario World, the basic one, I think. Super Mario World. Okay. Would you say Mario Wonder is better than than Mario World? See, see what I mean? It's a useless uh, discussion to say what's better. Maybe they both should exist. They're both powerful women. Every video game is a woman. All of them. Did you know that you know that you know that you know? I feel like the one thing I know is that I don't know. Dash Socrates. Hi GT, hi, how are you? All I know is that Mario Run has an ugly ass UI, okay? I think that shit is ugly. And I also think that uh, Pokemon Go has an ugly ass UI also. They did a thing for April Fool's Day one time where they changed all of the Pokemon icons to, like, the original, like, like, the 8-bit, like, video game icons, and it, like, looked better. You know, you know you're in trouble when your April Fool's joke looks better than your actual game. Pokemon Go is something. Yeah, I have a lot to say about the Pokemon Go art style. I don't know what the fuck they were thinking when they did that. But, uh... Y'all aren't ready for that conversation. Well, you are. I'm just, I'm not ready for it. What do you, is there a name for that, like, snarky internet tone where it's like, y'all aren't ready, like, you know what I mean? Like, how, like, there'll be, like, Twitter threads and shit like that, where it'll be, like, it'll be, like, a thread or whatever. <laughs> There's gotta be, like, a name for that. Annoying? No. Well. Hmm. Twitter. It's like it's like a millennial thing, I think. It's like a BuzzFeedism. You know what though? I gotta say, one thing I'm over as a medium is TikTok videos where it's just the people standing there and they're pointing up in in they're just pointing at thin air and then they put like some text over it. Like I'm I'm over that actually. You can you can stop doing that now. I don't like that anymore. I don't know if I ever liked that to be honest. Chester the Otter is kind of basic, but y'all aren't ready for that conversation. I've, you know, literally have had tweets about me that are like, basically that. Like people have actually said shit like that, <laughs> which is awesome. I gotta turn this hat off. How does the hair really work here? Okay, okay, I see it, I see it, I see it, I see it in my head. I see it in my mind's apple. Let's see. Then I'm gonna switch to behind.
Um, Chester is basic a thread. I want to see that thread. Actually, I don't. No, you know what? I do want to see that thread. I challenge you. You know, I don't like this hair shape that I did actually here. Let's see, maybe a little higher up like that might be better. Which means I have to fix this shape now. Ruin my whole life here. this, delete this. Boop, boop. going behind there, the front hair. I don't know. It's a little... It doesn't really make sense. I, I think I could have sketched this out in a way that makes a little bit more sense. Maybe I'll make it one shape. You know, maybe I'll make it like one... I'm not really like thinking this through right now. But I think maybe what I want, what I'm truly going for here is one, here, let me just like illustrate what I'm doing. Like one shape for the big floof, right? Like maybe that will, maybe that will look better. See what I'm going for here? I don't know, it's just something about this. I'm not happy with this. It's bothering me, it's driving me nuts. <clears throat> Chester, draw, draw, draw. I'm trying. Thank you. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Uh. <gasps> Scott the Fur. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the resub. Holy cow. Yo. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Do not eat the Chester shaped soap. What? Uh, what? Where's the. Huh? Chester tastes like soap confirmed. I am so confused right now. Chester has excellent milk absorbing properties. Oh, I don't know about that. I, I'm just average. Uh, nothing special. I absorb milk as, as well as the next guy. I do want it to be two separate shapes, but then I don't know how I'm gonna handle this. Is there a way to like flip my view to draw it backwards? That always helps me. Is there a way to like flip it? Is there a way to, I don't think there's a way to like flip horizontal in, in Flash. Either that or I just don't know where to look. I guess I could just actually flip it, but I don't wanna do that. My body is a machine that converts chocolate milk into diarrhea. 
But wouldn't it do- does it not do that for regular milk? Uh, I tried lactate for the first time, and I think it worked, question mark? Question mark, maybe? Maybe try lactate? Do they have that? Where you are? Does that look okay? Like, if that was just one- no, I don't like that. I don't know, do I like it? If I, if I like erase this part. I guess that looks okay. Ah, fuck it, I'll leave it. The inside outline doesn't really matter. I'm gonna fill it in. It this only matters for the hair. This is bad tattooing. The hair it matters. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Oh, it's been an hour already. Oh my god, I gotta freaking hurry this shit up. Talk about shoes. Can't talk about shoes anymore. Hmm. What are they putting in the chocolate milk? Who, who, who's they? Huh? What kind of chocolate milk are you drinking, huh? Did we get an ad already? Oh no, I wanted to take a bathroom break and I forgot about the ad break. No! Uh, I was working all the way through an ad break. Damn it. Damn. I'm sorry about that. Go piss anyway? No! The least I could do is wait for an ad break now that I'm doing the ad thing. I might play the I, I might play the next ad early, but I can't do it just yet. You just watched an ad. Why this hair is wigging me out so much? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's bothering me more than it should.
me try to let me try to smooth this out a little bit. I gotta stay on task here. Gotta get this hair done. There's more important things to do. Smooth. Did that work? I don't know if that worked. Let's try smoothing again. Oh, it does work. It does work. I don't know if that made it better or worse. But if I can't tell, maybe that maybe that's a good thing. Uh, hmm. It's making me watch eight fucking ads in a row. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I I do it for the um, lack of uh, pre rolls. Because you know, a lot, most of the time you go in a stream, it'll you'll hear the streamer say ah, and then boom, it'll hit you with like a minute pre roll. And um, I don't want that. I'm, I'm experimenting without. So it's like, you'll watch more minutes of ads overall, but I feel like if I keep an eye on the um, ad manager and I warn you beforehand, like, oh, we got an ad, let's take a break. You know, I incorporate it a little bit better. Maybe it'll be less disruptive. I know ads still stink, but... It's really the pre-rolls. I don't like the pre-roll. Um, but sometimes I just miss it entirely. Every ad break is three minutes, which is a long time. Yeah, pre-rolls kill new viewers. Viewers, That's what I've heard. Um, that's kind of what I'm experimenting with. I'm like, maybe I can get a few more faces in here. If I uh, try this new system, it's like... You know, they'll leave before they get a chance to even see any of the stream. And I don't want that. Gotta think about these things. It's an experiment. I don't know what the right way is. Genuinely, if I could turn off ads, I would. Like, actually. Cause I don't care. I don't care about ad revenue. Here, maybe that, maybe that, maybe that's good. I think I like this. It almost reminds me of normal TV. How long are ad breaks for normal TV? Right? Like between each episode of Spongebob? Like how long is that shit? But I don't want this to be like normal TV. Fuck normal TV. It's half the time? Really? Shit. Well, each episode of Spongebob is 11 minutes. And if it's 22 minutes... I guess it's like... For a half hour block, it's like 22 minutes of show and like eight minutes of ads. Oh, jeez, how, how did it, how did we survive? I don't really watch TV anymore. I don't watch anything anymore. I just watch YouTube videos. I just watched this YouTube video earlier of this guy, this YouTuber who I've never seen before, but he's got a decently big channel and it was like because i get a lot of like game dev recommendations now it's like i i made a game in unreal engine in, in 14 days with no knowledge and he was like i'm gonna learn unreal engine because i always wanted to make games because i make videos about games and now i gotta make them to to get better at like critiquing them and then he spent uh he spent like all 14 days Getting caught up with, like, oh, why, why, why are the textures just like they look good when I load in the terrain, and then suddenly the textures disappear, and I'm gonna spend three days trying to figure that out. And I'm like, bro, bro, I know, I've been there. So he ended up not really getting much done, but he, he took an extra day and he made a thing, and it, it looked, really, it worked out. What was the video? I feel like now that I've talked about it, I should at least mention what the video is called. The video that I'm talking about is called I Made a Game in Unreal in 14 Days by someone named Jack Sather. And I thought it was a pretty good video. Um, I don't know how to use Unreal though. I just watch this stuff in the background because it's where my brain is at. Hmm. I also um, watched a video on, uh, oh, hang on, the music stopped. Let me play another one. 
Some of y'all may, may have seen that streamer bait game called A, a Difficult Game about, about Climbing. It's like uh, Getting Over It with Bennett Foddy. It's really inspired by that, and it, it kind of looks similar. The guy that made that also made like a 15 minute... I don't know if it's like a developer. It, I, don't, I don't know if it counts as a devlog, but he talks about the process of making that game, and I thought that was a really good video. It's, his name is Ponty Pants. P-O-N-T-Y Pants. And the video is called I Made a Difficult Game About Climbing. I thought that was a really good one, too. Um, was just watching that video before getting the stream? Heck yeah! I see so many new channels, it's crazy. People with less than 1k subs. Yeah, there's a lot of really good, um, like, I find that, like, watching people's devlogs is really interesting. Because they are all, like, different levels of experience, and they just, like, are just walking through, like, their thought process and stuff, and it's just, like, a really cool, I don't know, genre of video. Maybe I should make a few devlogs. Uh, but I'm not really a YouTuber. My YouTube channel is sparse, and my views are low. But I do have a YouTube, if you want to follow it. It's youtube.com slash at fratboychester. And my VOD channel is youtube.com slash at chestervods. <laughs> Bennett Foddy made a game way back in the day that it's like a mountain climbing one. It was controlled like Quop, where you constantly have to type four keys at the right time. Yeah, they mentioned that. Um, um, Ponty Pants mentions that in his video, and it looked really interesting. I thought it was Chester the Vodder. That's my name, but the um, the link is different, I think. You can get to it with exclamation point archive, I think. There it is. That's really cool. I think calling those games streamer baits is maybe unfair. Some people really like those games not for streaming. It's, they're just challenging. They are kind of streamer bait, though. But... That's not what they- that's not all they are. I- I suck ass at getting over it with Bennett Foddy, so I don't think I would really enjoy a difficult game about climbing. I'm the only ver person that watches the VODs. Yeah, not many people watch the VODs, so thank you if you watch them. I just put them there just- I don't know. Just because. Uh... I- I don't know. I don't know why I put them. Because... I'm sure... I, I, I don't know, not many people watch the VODs on YouTube, but if one person enjoys them, then it's worth it. Um, yeah, my VOD channel is also not up to date. I have to, um, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm trying to schedule them. Especially since I'll be away, we'll, we'll see if I can get caught up. I can schedule them all and... Y'all can get caught up in the VODs if you want. We can shrink together. We can shrink together? No! Let's see... I want this color. here everything's good we're good we're good we're good we're good we're good 
When I rewatch some VODs, I go, Look, there I am! Gary, there I am! Hope you're well today. Thank you, Maze. I hope you're doing awesome today. Sounds perfect. Thank you. Let's get rid of this and this. Yeah, we're, we're doing the head as one shape, so... Try not to worry too much about layering and all that stuff. Just get this over here. You know, that ear's a bit smaller than in my sketch, but I'm gonna keep it, I think. Whoa! What the heck? Thank you! Amaze! Thank you so much for the five gift subs! Thank you! What the heck? Thank you so much! Holy cow! I am doing awesome! Got a nice bonus! Whoa! Uh, congratulations on the bonus! Holy cow, you've earned it! It's been a long time- Man, they should have freaking gave you that bonus ages ago, but I'm glad it happened. Damn. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I really, really appreciate that. It's very nice of you. Enjoy those emotes, y'all. Be sure to give Maze uh, a big ol' big ol' thank you if you got a gifted sub. Uh, Fox on Silverfur, thank you for gifting a sub to Maze! Thank you! What the heck? Y'all are so kind. Thank you. Okay, you know what? I like that. I'm happy with this. Whoa, uh, this song changed. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. This got really loud. This is for my video game's release. It's been a year, so an annual thing. Yo! Uh, yo, congratulations! One year! That's awesome. Is streaming your main source of income? Uh, right now it is, yeah. I mean, I don't know if that was the plan, but that's currently how it shook out. Um... It is my main source of income right now. Um... That's why I'm pushing! I'm, I'm, I'm on that grind! I'm pushing for Partner Plus, so every, every sub is deeply appreciated. Thank you. Um, and I want to, um, I want to sell more merch, actually. Uh, uh, so this isn't quite ready yet, but some of y'all might remember, um, the merch that I ha have through Donut Moth. Um, but because Donut Moth is currently closed right now, I've asked them to, um, send me their stock so I can open it, open up my own shop and, and, um, you can, you can, so right now you can't buy any of that. Uh, but I'm, I'm hoping to reopen it through my own store. So I'm in the process of, um, acquiring my Donut Moth stock. So if you're, anyone's interested in, like, a booby mouse pad with my paws or a, a mini docky, like a little mini docky keychain that's, like, a couple inches tall. Um, and I have a few stickers through there, too. Uh, so that's gonna be, hopefully, set up maybe next month. I haven't, I haven't received it yet. So it's life-sized? Are you small? <laughs> Are you, uh, tiny and can fit in my pocket? If so, yes. Yes, it's life-sized. It's life-sized for gnomes. Wait, how big are gnomes? I don't know how, how big gnomes are. I think... You have to be smaller than a gnome for it to be life-sized. Maze, thank you! Thank you! What the heck? Thank you for 10 more gift subs! Thank you! One, maybe two? Huh? Feet? I... Uh... My favorite genre of YouTube video is those, like, gnomes are real videos where they're like, Number two, look at this gnome over here in this video. Like, you can clearly see in the background these figures running uh, in the background and it's, it's dark. And then suddenly you see a figure that's only three feet tall quickly scurry across the screen. As you can see, the dog in this video clearly reacts to a creature running in the background. It could be a gnome. Those are my favorite videos. They should make more of those.
Did I hear feet? Um, no. Never. I would never... Never say feet in my whole life. I've watched SpongeBob Skin Theory like five times, and I've, for the life of me, cannot retain any of that video. I don't know, it's like I black out every time I watch Spongebob Skin Theory on YouTube. I don't know why. Do 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 do. That's okay. All right, we'll we'll keep it. We'll roll with it. Chester skin theory. You don't want to know. You don't want to know about Chester skin theory. Trust me. That's all. That's all I want to say. I'll add an outline to the horns, too. I can do this. I can add like little horn horn lines. horns too big? I may have made the horns too big. Ugh, I don't want to fuss over the details like this, but it's just how I am. I think I want to make the horns smaller. Do, 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 do. better just it just looked a little uneven to me mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, 
I love the outfit you're wearing. Oh, thank you. My punk outfit. It's the year of punk. draw over this line here. Mm -hmm. You know what I've been thinking about streaming? I don't know when I would do this, but there's something called Daggerfall Unity. Has anyone um tried that before? It's like uh Daggerfall Elder Scrolls Hot Tub? No, 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 no. Not Hot Tub. Not yet. It's like, um, it's Daggerfall remade in Unity, so that it's, like, a little bit more modern. And, like, ma like less buggy, but still really faithful to the original game. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, would that be boring? I've never played Daggerfall before. Hmm. I only played the original Daggerfall. I heard that Daggerfall Unity is very good. Isn't Daggerfall where the new Elder Scrolls game is set? I'm uh, convinced that the new Elder Scrolls doesn't exist. Like, I, I don't... I have not seen proof that they've actually worked on that ever since they announced the teaser, like, a million years ago. So, uh, who knows? I thought it was maybe High Rock, but we really don't have enough information. As a Morrowind fan, I might recommend Morrowind first if you haven't played it. I'm scared of Morrowind. And Daggerfall Unity got like fully released. I want to say a few months ago. So I've been thinking about that. But maybe I'd start with Morrowind. I do own it. I'm scared of it though. But maybe I should be more scared of uh, Daggerfall, to be honest. Hmm. Thank you for the pets, thank you. You should be scared of Morrowind. Oh, awesome. <laughs> I was trying to I was trying to see if I could maybe play like Morrow Oblivion, but I think that that is like it's like more buggy than than is ideal. It's um they remade Morrowind in using the Oblivion engine and that sounded really appealing to me. But apparently it's like like if you're committed, you could play it through all the way. But you're gonna run into like a million game-breaking bugs here and there, where quests quests just don't up uh, update and just not very well, like just not ready, I guess. I don't know. I mean, it's impressive what they did, but I don't think I'd stream it. I probably should experience actual Morrowind before I do that. <laughs> As a huge fan of the series, except Skyrim, I hate Skyrim. What? Skyrim got too popular for its own good, I think. I think it was good when it came out, and then when it released eight other times, people were like, alright. But it's a good game. I don't know. I like I like Skyrim. I don't like it as much as Oblivion. I've only played those two. Oblivion is, like, forever my favorite. Wow. 
I'm gonna undo this horn bothering me. Let's paint behind. Skyrim was never good. All of its flaws were the things that other games... All the flaws it has were things that the other games before it, including the games in the same series, already knew how to fix. Oh, shit. Look, I know I know, I won't convince you. And I'm, I'm, I'll be the first to say that Skyrim is flawed as hell. But, uh... Consider this. Consider this, though. Let me, let me, let me, let me, uh, let me, uh, let me show you something you may not have considered. Skyrim. I'm gonna need an extra one of these. Boom. Yeah, that's right. Uh, it, Skyrim's kind of awesome. But you didn't think about that. Yeah, I bet you didn't think about that, huh? I Skyrim. It's in the name. Chrysium. <laughs> Elder Scrolls V. Chrysium. Think about that. Perfect game. Todd Howard does it again. I bet some of y'all are new and you're like, who the fuck is Chris Yim? Uh, that's me. I did change my username the other day. Month. The other... a while ago. When did I change my username? How long has it been? It feels like I've had this username forever. I don't know who Chris Yim is. I sound like a loser. I feel like it's- yeah, it's probably been like a whole year at this point. I, I lost track of time. I wonder what the next, uh, the next game is gonna be called. Let's try to figure it out. Let's see. I bet the next game is gonna be called... Elder Scrolls 6. Um, it's gonna be called... Um... Uh, it's going to be called <sighs> that. I, that's my theory. It's going to be called Elder Scrolls Erkst. And then that'll be the best game ever. Herpes? What? Herpes the Otter? No. No, 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 no. Chesticle. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know about that. You know, I really have to use the bathroom, and we're 20 minutes away from the next ad, so I think I'll just play it now. So, sorry for the ads being really close together, but... Uh, I also gotta refill my water, so... 
Why don't we uh, take a bathroom break? Get some water. Get your snacks. Uh, I'll play the ad a little bit early, and then we'll have a little bit of a longer break between the next, uh, between now and the next ad. All right. I will be right back. Well, it takes a second for the ad to kick in, so... Oh, no, there it is, there it is. Alright, I'll be right back. Elder Scroll 6 Etchers? Chester's an anagram for Etchers? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Holy shit. Ugh. I lost a piece. Whoa, that's huge. That's actually a game changer. Whoa. That's a bombshell right there. Cheezer. Like Weezer. We're getting into a really, really, um... Spirited debate on whether or not, um, modern Bethesda games are good or not. You know, I wanted to- I was looking forward to Starfield, but then when it actually came out, I'm like, uh... I don't want to play that. So... I don't know. I'm sure it's fine. But there's other things I'd rather be playing. Elon's involvement made me want to stay the heck away from Starfield, huh? What? Elon Musk was involved in the development of Starfield? And was it just him, like, whining and, and begging to be in the game? I saw a picture of Elon crashing, like, a Starfield- uh, no, a Fallout- Like, a Fallout, like, um, rap party or something. And, like, Todd Howard was there looking like death. And Elon was like, hey, what's up, guys? Uh, uh. He bought the... St he probably bought the studio. I hope not. He was trying to influence the world building of Starfield. Oh, my God. 
Oh my god. Elon's probably like, mm, there's too many uh, woke um, minorities in this game. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. That's that's my imag that, that's what I imagine Elon's input would be like. Mm, get rid of the minorities. <laughs> Why are the planets spheres? That's fucking funny. I don't know. I'm sure Starfield is fine. Yeah, I don't know. I think when they said that it would be new IP, I got really excited, and then when I saw it, I was like... I don't know, I was kind of hoping for something like... That, that seemed more imaginative to me. Where Where are the sexy aliens? Hello? But I can't really criticize the game, because I don't know anything about it. But it just... Looked like it was sorely lacking in sexy aliens, so... That's a no from me. I think it was a GameCon party where they happened to show the trailer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Either way, I don't know. It didn't seem like everyone was excited to see him. I hope the show will be good, though. I feel like we're seeing a lot more uh, video games being adapted into TV shows lately. Which I guess is a good thing, question mark? make this paint behind. <laughs> Chester TV show when? A date, will a date with Chester 3 will be a Netflix series. I promise you that. Date with Chester 1 was a stream. A Date with Chester 2 is a game. It's only a matter of time. A Date with Chester 3 is going to be a freaking live action adaptation. It's the natural progression of things. And uh, I'll, I'll, I guess I'll ask Elon for ideas. My good buddy, Elon. <laughs> um, there's too many woke otters in this show. Oh my god, I'm drawing like... Like a madman. See how this looks. You know what? It's fine. Uh, um. Do you remember the sis is a slur thing he was on about? Oh yeah, don't worry. I remember that. He's he's he just won't shut up about all these things. I'm over it though. I'm freaking over. I don't want to think about that guy anymore. I sorry I brought I sorry I brought him up. You get a warning if you say it. My god. Maybe, maybe this. No, that's not right.
<clears throat> Switching to Inkopolis Square permanently because Amflo um, got a chokehold on me. Is that the um? Is that the lady with the toes out? Oh, I finished. Uh, uh, I I finished. Um. Side order the other day. I beat the DLC. Like, beat it, beat it. She got her toes out, though, in that... Like, her toes are out. So I understand. We all know. God. I'm going freaking cuckoo bananas. Let me just draw normal, please. Did you do the low hacks eight pilot? Yes, I did. I did. I did. I got I got the little badge for doing low hacks. It's like I think you need to do four hacks or less. Uh, Ali told me beforehand to not do any more than that. And I did it! It wasn't that bad. I think her singular foot is the only design element about her that I don't like. What? That's the only part of her design that I like. I guess we have to freaking kill each other to see who's right. Trial by combat. I told Ali the passing of knowledge. Yeah, thank you. I guess we have to fight now, though. Fry's feet are also out, so I can see how that's confusing. Huh? Well, no, they're, I mean, they're... Well, that's... No, they're not, like... The attention isn't drawn to her foot, though. Which is a classic mistake, to not draw the attention to the foot. It's a rookie mistake. Flow? Oh, flow, flow. Yeah, yeah, flow, yeah. You can keep her foot, I'll take the rest of her. You know how shoes make the outfit? Well, feet make the character design. By extension... You know. I saw Flo, she looks cursed. Flo Splatoon. Let me see what, uh, let me, let me look, let me look at her design again. I, I have to refresh my memory. Let me see, uh, here, Flo. Let me look up Flo. Huh. Her design looks, uh, 
different than I remember. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Maybe maybe I don't like her design. Yeah, that's not that's not good. That's that's I would call that bad game design. Let me see here. Let me see. Oh yeah, now oh, oh my god. Now that is what I call good character design right there. That's what I'm talking about. That this is good character design. Hell yeah. Hmm. Yeah, we love Chip in this house. This MF don't even know about Robo Roman, huh? Robo Roman. What what are we what are we talking about? What is this? What the hell? Wait, actually, I don't know about this. What is this? Is this new? I haven't seen this stage before. It's been a long time since I played actual Splatoon. That was last season? Damn. I saw Flo, I came running. Welcome. Ugh, we're talking about Flow Splatoon. Hmm. I'm gonna delete this and this. You know what I you know what I watched recently that was extremely unhinged? And Saber Sparks got a video on this and I haven't seen it, so I this was- I was going in kind of blind. Has anyone heard of, uh, Romeo and Juliet sealed with a kiss? It is an animated movie and animated entirely by one dude. I guess he was like a Disney animator or something. He might have worked on, um, Roger Rabbit, I don't know. But that shit is literally so unhinged. That's the most fucking unhinged movie I've ever seen in my entire life. It looks like, uh, let me just find a screenshot here. It looks like this. <laughs> uh, dude, this shit, the whole movie is on YouTube. I don't think I can show any of it, but goddamn, goddamn was this movie fucking crazy. I don't know, man. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. But something about it, though. Something about this movie. If it's free, don't make- I don't think it is. I just- it, I don't think it's uploaded on YouTube legally. And I feel like I would get claimed if I showed it. But goddamn, do I want to show this movie off on stream so bad. Something about this movie, though. It's- Why do they look like you? What? What? What did you say? Excuse me? Oh my god. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna need a more powerful art program to do what I'm about to do. <laughs> uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. What?
I think this has got to be a little bit more on the orange side. Why isn't it, uh... There we go. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Yeah, this is my OC. This is my whole brand, my whole career. Do not steal. You may not use this as a base. Guys, I'm working on a movie. I'm animating the entire movie by myself. It's gonna be feature length. Uh, what do we think? Here's a little sneak peek. Are we excited? Do we like this? Should I start a Kickstarter? This movie? What do you mean? This movie isn't even out yet. What do you mean not, not this movie? It's called... Um... Um... It's called... Uh... Romeo and Juliet... Get out of... Get out of town! That's what it's called. What do we think? Why do they have no lips? Oh shit. No, I mean, what do you mean? It's a cartoon. <laughs> what do you mean, why do they have no lips? Here, I'll draw lips. Is that enough lip for you? Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm taking other criticisms while we're at it. I may as well. I mean, alright, what, what else you got? I'm accepting constructive criticism. One frame done, yeah. How many frames are in a movie? If it's 24 frames per second, and it's animated on twos, and the movie's two hours long, let's see. Let's see, uh... Dude, I can't do math right now. One hour is 60 minutes. 60 minutes is 60 times, uh, how many seconds are in a minute? 60? Uh, that's 3,600 seconds times 12 because it's on twos. 432, th no, 43,200 frames. Yeah, that's not bad. Where's the Shireen gun? I, in <laughs> what, hey. This ain't a joke. What is this, a joke to you? I'm gonna tweet this. I'm tweeting this. Working on a movie. One frame done for... Th four three two zero zero to go. No, no. Four three one nine nine to go. <laughs> I 
There it is. <laughs> JT, have you heard of this movie? It's called Romeo and Juliet Sealed with a Kiss. It's it's a masterpiece. It'll change your life. It's all it's all on YouTube. Very good. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't wanna spoil it. Let's just say you'll never hear Twinkle Twinkle Little Star the same ever again after you watch this movie. That's all I'm gonna say. Anyway, I'm getting a little distracted here. Show me the scene. I, I want to show this whole fucking movie so bad. But I won't because I don't want to get claimed or something. I feel like... I feel like I could get a copyright claim for showing it. Damn, though. God damn. It's so unhinged. Here, I just... I want to push this out a little bit more. Just because I don't want that tangent in there. Did I did that. I what do you mean? I did that. I, it's my art. It's my movie. You don't like it? What the heck? What the hell? I that's my movie. It's called Romeo and Juliet. Get out. Uh, get. Get. No, it's called. Get out of town. Yeah, that that's what it was called. I forgot for a sec. Get Romeo and Juliet. Get out of town. Get out. Get out of here. It's my movie. I thought you'd be proud of me. Sealed, it's called Romeo and Juliet sealed with a chest. Right, right in the chest is what it's called. Because Chester. Seal, seal kissed an otter. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, all right. We'll go with that. The loaf? Huh? A loaf. The bread? I know this is a Pokemon song. Yeah, this song is, uh... It's called... Lake. Oh, I'm almost done with this playlist. I gotta start another one. JT, what's your favorite Pokemon? Go. What's JT's favorite Pokemon? What did we cook yesterday? Uh, oh, meatloaf! <laughs> Dude, I don't know. It was like, it was a patty. The meatloaf was good. We cooked a meatloaf yesterday. And I never had meatloaf before. But I liked it. 
good meatloaf. Wait, do you... Do you have it? <laughs> you know what I mean? No? Damn it! Fuck! Damn it. I can't tell. Damn it! What the fuck? Only I have to bear this curse. So I never had meatloaf before, right? Allie's never had asparagus before. So we made meatloaf with asparagus. And, um... You know, a surprising number of people don't know that eating asparagus does... It changes... Uh... It gives you uh, a superpower, basically. But you have only a certain amount of people can tell. And mashed potato, and mashed potato. Mashed potato is good. Yeah, but if you don't got it, then you can't tell. It enchants your piss. Yeah, exactly. Um, I always forget I ate asparagus, then freak out. <laughs> Whoa, oh, oh, <laughs> what's happening? <laughs> Damn. Well. You'll never forget for long. That's the cool thing about it. Damn, I'm a little disappointed. <clears throat> I'm just saying. I, I just think it's a cool new experience and... I'll never know. You know the shit that drives me crazy, though? So, similar to how, um, only some people can smell asparagus piss, uh... It's like, uh, it's kind of like the cilantro thing, like how some people, uh, can't eat cilantro, right? And... It always surprises me how many people don't know about this, either. But, um... I don't know, I forget the percentage, but... A lot of people can't eat cilantro because it tastes like soap to them. Um, and I'm one of those people. Like, it doesn't taste good. I don't know if I would describe it as soap if I hadn't heard it before. It just, it, it, it kind of tastes like how I imagine, like, cleaning products would taste like. Even though I've never eaten cleaning products and never will. Uh, but the shit that drives me crazy is, um, whenever I tell someone about this, like, they don't know about it. They're learning about it for the first time and I'm telling them. I'm like, yeah, I can't eat cilantro. Like, it tastes like soap to me. Um, and I, like, I explain, like, oh yeah, like, a certain amount of people have this gene. And they taste cilantro different from everyone else, and to me, it tastes like soap. The response I get, like, more often than I would expect is, No, it doesn't. I'm like, what? No, I just told you, though, like, it's different for you than it is for me. Like, I always get, like, the, but it doesn't taste like soap. It tastes good. I'm like, <sighs> like, I've gotten this response enough times where I'm like, I'm like, I'm trying to explain. <laughs> what do you mean? Did you cook the asparagus with garlic? I did, I did, I did. Is, is that okay? I put garlic in it. What are these big chunks? It's garlic! I, there's garlic and some mushroom in there. Don't worry, it's all normal food. It's all normal. I didn't mince it, no. I, I chopped it into large pieces because I was too lazy to mince. Uh, but it's just it's just garlic, it's all normal. Nothing, no, no mystery, no mystery meat. I hate asparagus and mushrooms. Damn. I guess we can't be friends anymore. People with no reading comprehension? Like, they would tell me this shit in person, though. It's like, no, it's like people with, I can't. Imagine, like, it's solipsism or something? I don't know. <laughs> we were friends. Yeah, not anymore. Did you know that if you, um, soak your toes in garlic, you can eventually taste it through your mouth? Yeah, look it up. 
It's true. It's because there's like a there's like a chemical compound that seeps through your skin and goes into your blood vessels and then you taste it as you breathe it out. <clears throat> I should do a garlic toes stream like uh like a uh, I stream until I taste garlic by not eating it but soaking my toes in it. And I could have a toe cam. Like I could make like a whole tub full of garlic and just kind of like wiggle my toes around in it. And uh how long would it take, do you think, for it to like seep through my blood vessels and breathe out my mouth. That's T-O-S? No, that's- it's spelled- <laughs> Momo. It's spelled T-O-E-S. Silly Momo. Put the dogs out. You're a genius, thank you, I know. I'm full of ideas today. Whew. Damn. You know, it's not easy being this smart. Everyone hates you for being the smartest. This this playlist is like really quiet. Let me skip to another song. Shark Tank idea, garlic socks. I'm listening. You better go find it. Ha <laughs> ha. Damn, man, I'm I'm just I'm up. I'm I'm there I'm on something today. I am not making as much progress as I would like. doesn't really make sense here, but it's fine. I don't think it has to. It doesn't have to make sense. It just has to have vibes. Do you vibe? Hi, Ahmed. Hi. How are you? You weren't invited to today's birthday party. Huh? Oh, no. What do you mean? But I have the hat and everything. Do you vibe, bro? Do you vibe? on Graycon right now. And it's a great time. I think 
I like that. All right, let's, I forgot the glasses have to be on another layer. Let's make another layer called glasses. And uh, here's what I'm gonna do because I'm, ain't no way I'm gonna draw ovals. Not on my watch. That ain't happening. So, I'm just gonna do this. Whoa, whoa, that's not, that's not what I wanted, hang on. Two, two, three, two, five. Two, 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 three, two, five. Do, do, do. Let's make the stroke size five, I think. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> it's too dark. It's too dark, isn't it? I think it'll be okay once I color the face in. But if not, we can always change it. Let's grab this other piece over here. What the hell? Just vibing? Heck yeah! Hmm. The complexity always grows because I realized if I want the nose to sit over top the glasses, I have to make the nose on its own layer. It may as well take the mouth with me while I do that. Here we go. So it, it always goes like this. <clears throat> thank you, thank you for the boop. Appreciate it. So that's how that's gonna work. Um, but I don't want to color the rest of the face until I get the eyes in. It'll just be a little bit, um... I don't know. It would be a hassle to, like, get the reference in. Hi, Kipper! Hi! How are you? Patino Village is good. Yeah, it is really good. Oh, gosh! Excuse me. I do like, um, Breath of the Wild soundtrack, but... It just, I feel like it doesn't have enough songs sometimes, but I guess that's the point. I want to, I want to listen to this one though. Okay, let's draw the eyes. Uh, actually before we get to the eyes, let's do... Let's finish the neck fluff. There we go. If 
how, how does this work here? I want the hair to like overlap the ear a little bit. Do, 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 do. sense? Yeah, uh, you know what? That's good enough for me. I'll take it. Let's just fill in pure white for the uh, fluff color. We got that. Let's get the horn color. I need to play more Tears of the Kingdom. Me too. I've like barely played any of that. I'm waiting for people to not get... I don't know. I don't know if it'll ever happen. I'm waiting for it to be like... I think a lot of people were playing it. And now it's like no one cares about it. But I'm waiting for it to be like... Retro or something where it's like, Oh, you're playing Tears of the Kingdom. I loved this game when I was growing up. How long would that take? Okay, I'll do it. I'm watching a new Tears of the Kingdom playthrough on Twitch as we speak. What? What? I'll have my turn. The otter will have its day. Mark my words. good stardew song this drawing is cute thank you this is a drawing of graycon i think the crafting thing was a little overwhelming it is yeah but i got the hang of it i don't know why i stopped i think i had the streamer brain thing where it was like well i want to play more but i'll save it for stream and then it just never happened Okay, I've got other things to play. Like Mario is missing. that, I think. Boop, boop. 
Let's put the eyes over the glasses and then we can fill in the glasses. See how that looks. Okay, boom. Oh my God, that's not what I did. That's not what I'm asking for here. Okay, now I think we're safe to fill in the actual face shape, which is this. And here. And here. Look at that! Oh wow, look at that. I'm happy with that. I think that looks cute. I think that's cute. Hey, Chestnut, looking pretty punkadocious. Thank you, Ellie. Hi. How are you? Let's see. Little goat guy. Little ram baby. That's so real. It's Graycon. It's Gurp. The character's name is Gurp. I'm good, I'm good. I'm EP after work. Oh, you need to relax now. You're done with work today. EP. I was EP before I even started working today. I ain't got that excuse. I wonder if the sweater should uh, have an outline. We just do it. I'm not sure. Oh, I really don't know because I feel like a lot of it will need an outline. I may as well just outline the whole thing, right? Maybe not, I don't know. Here, I'll, I'll add no outline for the torso part and then I'll outline the sleeves, I guess. I guess, I don't know. Oh, hell yeah. I'm loving the Rams design and how they look in your style. Thank you! That means a lot to me. You got me tired now? No! Well, it's super late for you, right? Maybe it's bedtime. Right, this is Yoshi's story. I, I don't know, for a second, it started playing and I'm like, wait, this is this Yoshi's story or is this um, Animal Crossing New Horizons? It kind of sounds like the new island, like exploring like the new island song. Felt like I was losing my mind. People ask me to sing again. There you go. I'm gonna take eat assholes. Your answer to that question. Wait, what? What? What do you do when you are EP but not? But EP is not an option, so you need a refresh. I never get the refresh. I just lay in bed and watch YouTube until it. Until I am filled with regret. Classic. brush just turned black for a sec. I thought I'd turn that off.
Let's get the dark outline color out of the way. It'll be it'll be this. We can put one here. this outline up a bit. Yoshi! Yeah. Nintendo! Ah, rah, 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 rah. That's my Yoshi impression. For when it, You know how, uh... Charles Martinet retired, uh... Whenever Yoshi retires, uh, I got my application ready. I'm rubbing my eyes right now, which is why my avatar is freaking out. I'm ready. I've actually got a lot of experience. Yeah, yeah, you got, you get it. Ooh, I got some competition. I don't know why some people hate Yoshi's Woolly World and Craft World The Burning Passion. Uh, I heard that Woolly World was fun, but I never played it. And Crafted World has really... I don't know, I don't like the music in that game, so I can't get behind it. Music's not good. Oh, gosh, you know what? I think I have to outline the entire thing. I have to. Do 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 do. Whoa! Easy. You know what? The top of the sword is not perfect, but I'm not perfect either. So deal with it. Hmm. Do you have experience with being sacrificed to the pit for an extra jump? I'll be sacrificed to the pit and it, they won't even get an extra jump out of it. It'll just be... It'll just be out of spite. So in a way, I'm more Yoshi than Yoshi will ever be. Yoshi should be auditioning for me. I just look so sacrificable. I don't know why. I don't really get it. Deserves better. I'm looking mighty sacrificable today. You know what? That's as good as it's gonna get. Honestly, that's as good as it's gonna get. So let's take this, lock these layers, and uh, let's just draw the arms. This arm goes up here. Ba -do 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 -ba -do 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 -ba -do.
I think what I need is... Um... I gotta grab this color here. And I'll draw the, uh... Hand fluff. Okay. I don't think much of the hand will be visible here, so... It should be alright if I just close the shape. It looks like a weird hand, but you won't see it behind the leg, hopefully. So, um... Let's fill this in, and let's grab the, uh, sweater color. Do that here. And, uh, I'll fill this in here. There we go. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. <clears throat> I think the Lynx Awakening remake is overhated. Wait, the Switch remake? Lynx Awakening for the Switch? I thought everyone loved that. I love that. That I, I wish they would make more uh I I wish they would remake more games in that style. Where it looks like a tiny little um diorama or, or whatever. They, where they look like they're made of uh clay or toys or plastic or whatever that, that game looks really good like well, imagine they made earthbound in that in that style like holy shit that would look so good yeah i've only ever heard good things about it i, I so i think it's hated the right amount which is none no one hates that in from what i've seen hi saku hi just woke up. Yo, good morning. Good morning, good morning. I hope it's a good day. We need Claymation Earthbound, like the promo art. Oh my god, yeah, they'll never do it, but goddamn. My favorite KK song is KK Cruisin'. I don't know the KK songs off the, off the top of my head, but I do like them. I remember people bitching about the art style when it came out a bit, and then they shut up and enjoy the game. Really? Man, people just don't... They have eyes, but they don't see. They're not looking. You gotta use them. It's, it's impossible to please everyone, I guess. I'm pleased. And that's what matters. Every video game studio should please me. Let me hide the head. I guess. Are you the legendary Bingler? <laughs> what? What's a Bingler? Ha! 
that's good. Now let's draw the, uh, hand here. hitting the side buttons on the pen, causing it to freak out. What color should this can be? It's, um, canned... It's, it's, uh, it's like a can of coffee, or, uh... I don't know, cappuccino or something, I don't know. <sighs> I could also make it, like, one of those paper coffee cups. That wouldn't be too hard. Originally, it was like gonna be an energy drink, but Graycon doesn't drink energy drinks. I could make it a coffee. <clears throat> Give it a 90s cup? No, it's gotta be like readably caffeine, you know? Here, I'll redraw it. Uh. <clears throat> got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. I got it. It won't be a can anymore. I gotta close this shape because I just because I have to. Because I have to, that's why. Canned coffee is good. Here, let me look up what uh, coffee cans look like. I don't know, they're, they're less distinct, I think. Like the shape and color of it is less it's less obvious like what it is unless i add like a lot of detail or whatever so i could make it a can but i don't know i might read better if it's not yeah i don't i don't hate canned coffee i don't drink coffee that often though not that often Boss Black is super recognizable. Draw the Paca Coffee label? Paca Coffee? I never heard of that before. Also, hi Manny. What? I don't even know. What is that? I haven't seen this before. I'm not like a coffee head. Boss, let me look up Boss Black. What? I've never seen these. What the heck? I'm just gonna make it a... Uh, one of those takeout coffee cups, just because it's what I know. The one with the face? Huh? Yeah, I see the face, but I have i don't recognize it. Boss coffee is in every anime. What? Boss coffee anime. Oh. What the heck? Anime coffee drinking wallpapers. <laughs> okay. What the fuck? 
These look AI generated to me. I'm just I'm just gonna I'm just gonna draw a regular. <laughs> Lost coffee is legit. I've had that before when I traveled to Japan. Whoa. Man, I do want to go to Japan. I feel like that makes me sound like a weeb. Like, yeah, you, you want to go to Japan, huh? Wow. Daring today, aren't we? But, I don't know. I do. It sounds... I don't know. I don't know how hardcore it is to go to Japan, like... You know what I mean? Like, I've heard they don't really like foreigners. It is fun to travel. I'm saying that shit. I'm literally going to travel with my family in a week, in like less than a week. Not to Japan, but I guess I'm going to get travel. I'm going to get travel out of my system. Aren't you Asian? Yes. But I'm not Japanese though. I feel like they could tell. You know Mario lives there? Mario lives in Italy. What are you saying? He lives in America. Mario lives in Brooklyn. Italy is real? Have we- have we been to Italy yet and Mario is missing? we have we've been to France Oh my god I was in Rome <laughs> I'm so st How did I forget well, I literally went... <laughs> what the heck? I was in Rome. Holy shit. Yatra is the only one that's actually paying attention. Thank you. Oh my god. Alright, let's, uh, let's draw this cup. I'll draw it as a separate layer and then I'll merge it just because I feel like that'll save me some trouble. Maybe, I, maybe it'll be easier if I do it like this. I'm here for time-saving techniques now. I'm not, I'm not here to waste any time. Here, let's... Uh, I, I do this a lot when I was working on that show. Here, I, here let's just get rid of that fill color. We can fill it later. I'll, I'll do this, I'll draw like a rectangle, and then I'll just, um, do this. And if I need... If I need a curve, I can do this. Oh, I could do... How did I do it again? How did I drag out the, uh, curve? There we go, like that. You were in Rome? I played Mario is Missing! I was in Rome and Mario is Missing, which is just as good as the real thing, I think. Just as good.
Mario was, was missing in Rome. Yeah, well, no, because we didn't find him there. Nah, he wasn't there. So, I guess technically Mario's never been there. Luigi has. Get ahead of myself here before i start erasing these segments let's um transform it into place first does that look does that look like coffee damn it i fucked it up already here's what i think i need to do Needs to be like this. And then it needs to be like this. Right. I think that. Try making it taller. I hope this is what coffee looks like. Kind of a big cup, huh? I'll make it smaller. Is that a big cup? Maybe it's like... Venti. Nah, fuck Starbucks. Crooked. Hello from TFF. Yo! Hi, CC. Hi! I hope you're having fun. Holy cow. That sounds like a lot of fun. I'm trying to draw this coffee cup right now, and it's crooked, but I'll get it. I think I gotta do it like this. It's not worth, um, adding curves to this, I think. You know what? I think it's... I, I could work with this. I want to drag this layer here and finish this shape off over here. Draw Chester drinking the Skibbity potion at 3 a.m. Uh. Okay.
just like doesn't say anything <laughs> just like does this really silently uh here you go here you go it's gotta be 3 a.m there you go all right that'll be five hundred dollars please You've agreed to our terms, and now you must deliver. Otherwise, you'll get a watermark. This otter.org is a watermark. This is to protect me. <clears throat> uh, and actually, I can't get rid of the watermark because I drew it on the same layer, so, um... It's- we're kind of working off the honor system now. Oh, is there an ad going on? I, oh, thank god, I get to pee. Oh, thank god. Alright, I'll be right back. This needs a caption. He was forced to drink the skibbity po potion when he was six. There you go. <clears throat> there you go, I finished it. Nap to comfy lo-fi otter running on four hours of eep. Oh my gosh, please get some eep. Please get that eep. I hope it's a good eep. Good night, CC. Uh alright, well I finished this masterpiece, but um I'm also gonna throw it in the trash so that it's lost media, which somehow makes it more valuable. It's lost media now. The Lost Media Stream. And it's doubly lost because there's still the ad going on. Oh, wait, no, I think it finished. I think it finished. Let's get rid of this. Alright, welcome back. Too bad screenshots exist. Yeah, it, it only exists in screenshots. Which makes it cool. I screenshotted it. Well, I'm glad I wasted three megabytes of your hard drive space. Depending on what file format you saved it as. That'll soon end up in the recycling bin. Hmm. I just got back from Agile. Yo, you're free. I got a cheesecake and a slice of carrot cake. Whoa, that sounds awesome. I want that. Isn't the VOD going up? Yeah. Yeah, it is. But what if I deleted it? What if I deleted the- Ah, oh, My VOD- My- My local VOD file got split up because OBS decided to like... Screw up earlier. Grrr, you're bruh. 
I have to... I don't know. I'm like... For some reason, I have every VOD saved on my hard drive. And I keep having to buy new hard drives. But I'm like, what if... What if I remember a funny thing I said a year and a half ago? So I have it all saved, all backed up. No one else does that. Um... Have you considered using a cloud service? Oh my gosh. That'd be so exp It'd be more expensive, I think. Good hoarding behavior. I'm a little loot bug myself. So would you- would you say this is a... Does this coffee cup look like an appropriate coffee cup size to you? Or is it too small? Is it too big? I can't tell. How big is gray? Um, the size of an average human mother? So what do you think? It baby coffee? It should it be bigger? <laughs> I got that reference. Nice. Good. We're cool. Alright, I'll make it a little bit bigger. I don't know about making it bigger than that. That's a lot. That's a lot of coffee. Need 7-Eleven Big Gulp coffee. Is 7-Eleven coffee good? these two layers merge layers control b to break them down oh no why did it do what why did it do that here's here's what i need to do i think i think i need to convert this uh convert to fills then we'll try merging it. Then we'll break it down. There we go. And uh, I don't want this to over uh, overlap like the way it's doing, so let's fix this. We just gotta fix it the old fashioned way. Town is under siege. Yo! Mr. Uh, Aishan, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Cruising for a raiding. Yo, what were you playing today? Welcome on in, everyone. Oh, you were doing art also. Yo! I really appreciate the raid. Welcome on in. My name is Chester. You can also call me Chris, which is my real name, but I can never decide what to tell people to call me, so just call me Chester, I guess. Um, Welcome on in. I am drawing... This lovely sheep over here is named Graycon. Uh, named Gurp, rather. Gurp is the name of the character. Oh my goodness! You're just in time for, uh, Adobe Animate to do this awesome thing where it freaks out and turns black. And you have to close it and open it up again. That's awesome. Thanks. Um, this is Yatoro, by the way. We drew Yat- Oh! Never mind. <laughs> Yatoro has been consumed by the darkness. And so has Graycon. At least Cedric- oop. Oh. Never mind, Cedric Fox has also been consumed. Okay, uh, yeah, this is an awesome thing you get, even when you pay for Adobe. It's just one of their little secret features, uh, it's- it's pretty cool. But yeah, my, um, I'm Chester, I'm an otter, I- I do art sometimes. And, uh, we're gonna... We're gonna freaking close Flash and open it up again. Because... This is the world we live in. 
Are you rigging or drawing in the program? I'm, uh, I'm, I'm rigging, well, it, they're all gonna be really simple loops, so they're gonna look like, uh, these characters over here on the background. Just kind of like a really, um, simple sway back and forth. So tech, I mean, technically they're rigged, in that they're, some of their body parts are separate, but, uh, it's, I'm keeping it really simple. So that's what we're working on. We're working on these kind of background cameo characters. They're all, uh, my friends. Uh, what's your favorite song? My favorite song? I don't know. What's, what's your favorite song? I like ABBA. I like ABBA. I like, uh, Jeff Rosenstock. I like, uh, Mitski. I like, um, freaking 100 Gex. I don't know. I don't know what my favorite song is, though. Feature not a bug? Oh. I don't like this bug. Alright, let's go back here. Let's open up that file. Mitski mentioned I got her hoodie a week ago. Yo, did you see Mitski live? Hell yeah. I saw Mitski live a few years ago. A couple of years ago. She's so good. She does like a big like... Kind of like an interpretive dance thing for each one of her songs. Uh, and I'm, yeah, I'm kind of punk rock today, yeah. Always is opening for Mitski, which is heaven. Oh my god, what? I had to see those two separate- as separate shows. Damn, that- you get- you get your bang for your buck. I saw, um, Jeff Rosenstock a few months ago, and, um, Sydney Gish was opening, and I was like, hell yeah. I love both of those people. I want to go to her live, but I can't. It's making me crazy. No. Uh, one day. One day, I believe. Yeah, Always is really good, too. Here, I'm going to size the hand down just a little bit. Just a tad. Okay. Now let's do what we were doing before, which is fixing this cup. good to me. All right, we're uh, we're getting there. We're getting we're pretty close, I think. You can see the light at the end of the tunnel. I can feel it. Let's fill in these shapes over here. Boop boop. Oops, that wasn't right. Boop. Come on. Boop. This here. This here like this. And um Let's do like a off white for the coffee cup. And we can put in a darker brown here for this piece. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It could be a little lighter, I think. Could be a little lighter. Nah, I liked it better before. What are you doing? I'm drawing Graycon! Uh... Yep, this looks good to me. Let's call it Arm. Arm 2. Arm underscore two, to be consistent. I love your art. It's nice to discover you and raid you. Oh my gosh, thank you. That means a lot to me. I hope you had a good art day today. Now all you gotta do is draw the legs. I think. 
yeah. And then I think we're... I think we're good. Hope you and chat have a wonderful stream. I must go now. Have an awesome rest of your day. Thank you so much for the raid. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> we're making it a good day today. Here, I'm gonna make the butt part of the torso shape, and then we can do the legs separately. Uh, oh, uh, I forgot a detail. Hang on. I think uh, Gray would have been mad at me if I'd forgot this. Let's do... Yes, 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 yes. Whatever. Yeah, 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 whatever. Um... This layer. Bow wow wow bow wow wow bow 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 wow thank you. DNA bro, thank you for the resub. Thank you. Bow wow otter. What is with the hat? Oh, it was uh someone in chat's birthday today. It was Poppy Seed's birthday. It it is Poppy Seed's birthday. That's why I have the uh party hat on. I don't know if they're still here. Bow wow wow bow wow wow. That's really nice. Well, Yatoro paid for me to wear the hat, so... It's only fair. Here, I think I can just color the rest of it. The darker color. Let's see. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Ah, uh, you know what? I will do this. I think it just looks better that way. Boop, boop. Uh, I don't know. Do we need that? It's kind of just, it's maybe an unnecessary piece of detail. Um, I don't know. You know what though? This outline's gotta be darker. Whoa! There go. Is it worth doing this? Is that worth it? I think it looks pretty cool. Let's keep it. How does rigging work? Makes a dumbass face? No! Well, this isn't really complicated. It's just, um, I'm just separating it so that the body can, like... Let's say I want, like, the... the... the chest to stay still, but the head can, like, rotate a little bit. That's why I'm separating it in different pieces. Um, there's nothing really crazy going on with this. The layering just helps you move it- move the pieces around. Like, I, I didn't even finish drawing this part of the hand because it's, it's going to be covered by the leg. Looks kind of weird. Oh, it looks kind of weird. Here, I want to fix it up a little bit. Sorry for yawning. Just that little piece bothered me. Let's do this also. <laughs> okay, and now let's draw the uh. See like that. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna go sleep. Have a good day slash night, yo. Uh, have a good sleep. Thanks for. Uh, thanks for dropping by. Hope you have a good sleep. Dream about otters. Love discovering your stream. Thank you. That means a lot to me. All right. Let's do this and this.
How should I handle this? I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I should do this. You know, I think I'll just do it like this. Where it's just like a... The shape just kind of ends like that. Because I think I want to do this leg on the back layer. And this leg on the front. I think that'll be okay. I think? I don't know. It just feels wrong to me, but... That's what we're working with right now. I'm going to take the legs and put them in the appropriate place. Leg number one stays on top. Leg number two goes all the way in the back. Okay. This music sounds familiar because it's from Zelda Breath of the Wild. I think it's looping now, so let's, um, let's change this. Change the music. Oops. Let's start with here. This playlist is called DS and Wii Era, uh, Fruitiger Arrow Playlist. Actually, I think playing this playlist got me muted last time. There's gotta be a different one. There was one song in here that got me muted. I don't remember what it was. Relaxing Nintendo video game music calms your soul. Calms your mind. Um, what should I play? I'm out of music. Nintendo Fruitiger Arrow Chill Mix Part 2. Let's try this one. None of them... None of them should get me muted, but something did. I think it was a fraudulent claim, to be honest. Because it was a Nintendo song, but, like, the person who claimed it was, like, Nintendo or something, like, weird like that. And they don't really give you many tools to dispute it. If you dispute a copyright claim, either on Twitch or on YouTube, you have to basically get the approval of the person who made the fraudulent claim, which of course they're not going to say that they're wrong. I don't know. It's just a weird system. Never go wrong with Miku. Ooh, does Miku get you claimed though? I think it does. It's been three years since I followed you. Yeah, holy cow, that's crazy. Chrissy Nintendo. Whoa. My dad works at Nintendo. YouTube hates content creators. Yeah, but it's nothing new, I guess. I'm not going to complain about old news. spend too much time on the legs just because they won't really be visible in my background, but I still want to do them. I don't want to skip the legs entirely. I feel like that'd be weird. Let's, uh, let's do this and this and this. Ooh! Alright. Looking pretty good, I think. Do paint behind. Draw the feet. Aha. It's a little wobbly, but I think it'll be all right. Meet me. I gotta go work. So uh, uh, see. You. Oh, see you later. Friendly neighborhood hyena. Have a have a good work day today. Hope my previous comment was not weird. No, it's not weird. What the heck? It's not weird at all. I like evil clown playlists. Are you by chance an evil clown? I'm getting a vibe here. I'm getting an evil clown vibe.
still can't get over that yakety sax and the clown song are the same song. You know the song that's like that song is the same as the do 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 not over it. Watch, I'm gonna get muted for my, like, pitch-perfect, uh, yakety sax impression. Is it? I think it is, though, right? Ah, oh, shit, am I allowed to play that? I'm pretty sure it is the same song. It was meant to be a marching beat for an army? What? The clown army? I didn't know the clowns had a military. Should we be worried about this? Oh hell yeah, this is Toy this is Toyota Corolla music. My favorite genre. We're, we're almost done. I can't- I can't get distracted now. Can't lose focus. We're almost there. Let's draw this other knee. I'm getting hungry. Enter the gladiators. Oh my god. Yakety? Here, let me see. This might get me muted, but... Oh, fuck, I gotta- I gotta know. Yakety Sax Audio. Where? Yeah, it's... Oh my god, it's totally, like... It's a Sony... Copyrighted Sony Entertainment. Here, let me, let me try not to get muted here. Was it... Wait, am I... Am I hallucinating? I feel like it was... It was the same. Fuck, maybe not. Dude, there were two songs that I thought were the same song. No. There were two songs that I didn't know were the same song that ended up being the same song. Maybe I got it completely mixed up. Maybe it wasn't Yakety Sax. God damn. There's a part that has the circ- There is, right? Dude, I'm not- uh, Dude, I'm not crazy. But I can't play any more than that without getting freaking muted. Maybe this is- Maybe it's not this one. Dude. Does Yakety Sax have a circus part? I'm not getting anything on that. Lo-Fi Circus Yakety Sax Remix? I don't know if I'm allowed to play that. Dude. God damn it. I'll redeem myself one day. You mark my words. You probably think I'm crazy now. You probably think I'm crazy, but... I'll- I'll get you. I'll find the song that has the circus part. Illegal clown music. Yeah, it is. It is. If we think you're crazy, it's not because of this. I've never done a crazy thing in my life. So if you think I'm crazy, then you just haven't um, seen the truth. Anyway, oh my gosh, it's so loud. Has the music been this loud the whole time? I'm sorry. Let me make it a bit quieter. I was crazy once. <laughs> oh. Well, I, uh... 
Sounds like, uh... Sounds like you're not crazy anymore, which is good, right? You're not just crazy, you're cute. Aw, thanks. Let's draw this other knee. Your punk outfit, thank you. Shiny emo made Chester. Shiny emo made Chester. Impossible. Impossible. Oops. Ah, shoot. I was drawing behind. I didn't mean to. Let's see. Almost there. Boom. Got that. And let's unhide every part of the body. Look at that! I think we did it! I think we did it! What's your favorite genre of music or favorite song? Um, I don't know. I guess I like... I... I'm not sure. I feel like nowadays, you know, Spotify has all these, like, unique genre names. Like, um... They'll, they'll re literally make up the most random freaking genre names. Like, um... I can't even remember... I can't even remember what my, like, Spotify wrapped genre- like, favorite genre was. But they had, like, the craziest shit, right? Butt step music? I don't know about butt step music. But it was like... Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, uh, I think last year was POV Indie. I don't know what that means. What's POV indie? But the year before, it was some other shit. It's like some other thing I hadn't heard of before. My friend got me a cake before class. Let's go. Oh, that's so sweet. What the heck? I hope it's a good cake. Yo, happy birthday again. Dude, is, is Yakety Sax on Spotify? I have a freaking beef to settle. Hang on. Yakety Sax. Dude, we gotta listen to this the whole way through. And if there's no clown part of this, I'm ending stream. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, 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 stop, stop. Wait, is this, is this the official Yakety Sax? It sounds a little bit not as wacky. Who, who made the first Yakety Sax? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yakety Sax Wikipedia. Hmm. It is by James Q. Rich in Boots Randolph and was used in the Benny Hill show. Was it maybe, was it the Benny Hill theme that added the clown part? Hang on, let me, let me listen to this one. Oh! 
What? Wait, 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 whoa, wait, whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, did you hear that? Wait, I gotta go back to the Boots Randolph version to see if it shows up. Dude, dude, literally, fucking, holy shit. It's the Benny Hill theme that has it? It might just be the Benny Hill, what? What the fuck? They didn't, what, they added that? Damn, he kind of went crazy there with that freaking saxophone. He kind of went freaking crazy. That was like... He snuck that in, though. Did you hear that? Wait, whoa, whoa, run it back, run it back, run it back. Run. You fucking called me crazy! You called me crazy! Do I sound crazy to you? You what do you mean you don't hear it? They had the I heard the same thing you did. I don't I believe it's the clown circus thing. It is. Wait, 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 wait. Let's see if it happens again. The VOD watchers are like, what the fuck is going- Because they don't hear this. Because I don't want to get freaking claimed. Watch this VOD be muted anyway. Just look up Yakety Sax. Freaking, it does- Yeah, it only happens once. He fucking sneaks it in. Wait, here. He just, like, freaking snuck in the circus song. Let's listen to the Benny Hill theme. Okay, okay, they're doing this again. Ooh. There it is! Fucking dude. It's the same song. They I'm not hearing things. That's what I'm saying. Everyone thought I was crazy. Hi, Chu. Are you okay? Yes. Yes, I am so okay. It's everyone else who isn't okay. It's everyone else. I'm I'm okay. I'm the most okay I've ever been. <sighs> the fucking... That's the same song. And also, it was March of Gladiators or whatever. I don't care about that. I hear it. I fucking, I knew it. I'm vindicated. I'm freed. I'm sorry for that. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I, I'm right and you're wrong and I'm awesome and you stink. Hell yeah. It, it, it is the same song. It was one song the whole time. They, in fact, March of the Gladiators probably ripped off of um, Yakety Sax. Alright. Alright. Now that now that I'm not now that I could never be wrong again, we can we can proceed. This also um uh this gives me like uh this I'm so right here that basically when I'm wrong again in the future, this cancels that out cuz you have to give me like a a get out of jail free card for being so right this time. So next time I say some shit that's not true, uh I'm going to redeem the I was right before coupon. So uh, write that down.
That yeah, that that's how it works. That's how that's how it works because I was right that time and you were wrong. Anyway, I think I'm gonna make this shoe a little bit bigger. Oops. I like that. Meep meep. Meep meep. Oh! Did you know that Meet Mew and the clown song were the same? Oh my god. Oh my god. Hang on, I gotta fix this shoe. <clears throat> there we go. Got that. And I think I'm uh, I think I'm happy with this. Yeah, Pikmin stole from uh March of the Gladiators, I think. I love the art. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It means a lot to me. Let's get rid of the leg really quick. leg back. Okay, I like it. I like it. Uh, yeah. No, I think we're- I think this is good. I'm happy with this. Let's hide the ref really quick. Okay. And, um, let's just, um, turn it into symbols really quick. H to convert to a symbol, we'll call it Graycon Leg 2. We'll call this one Gray. This part is not the most exciting, but thank you for bearing with me. It just has to get done, so we're doing it. And then I think we're going to call it for today. Your art is missing among us. I literally drew for you, uh, Skibbity toilet 3 a.m. Chester art, and now you want more? What? How dare. Torso. Raycon, torso. Got that going. Raycon, um, arm one. Huh, for real? <laughs> yeah, it's lost media. You'll never, uh, you'll never see it. Graycon... Head? Graycon glasses... Graycon eyes... Graycon nose... And Graycon leg one. Really quick. So you see the uh, little pivot point thing over here. And you also see the plus point here. The plus point thing is called the registration point. That is basically like the, um, I don't know it. I don't know what it is well enough to explain, uh, to explain it and not be wrong. But basically I want that registration point to be the pivot point for the legs so like any potential movement would happen i would say like maybe around here this general region and there is a script that i'm using called set registration point to transform point this over here is called the transform point basically when you're doing quick transform it rotates around the center of the image but if i set the transform point here it's not permanent it's just like a temporary thing. So I want to set it, set the registration point, which is here to here. 
I set it as a hotkey myself to shift Q. And now it is done. You can just barely see pixels poking out of the top, bottom, and left and right of the circle. I want to do that for each of these. This one, I think it should maybe be over here. Or actually, no, maybe I want, maybe I want the uh, pivot point to be here. Because I want the, gr uh, the feet to be planted to the ground, so I'm going to put that over here. And I'm going to do that here. That way, if I ever skew, skew the legs, you know, it'll be planted like that. Does that make sense? Um, the nose will be... Oh, we can leave that there. The eyes, we can leave the eyes over here. That way, if I decide to do a blink in the future, I could, you know, we can kind of play around with that. Not that it has to necessarily transform that way, but I like to just leave it where it would transform if I ever decide to do it. You know, even if I don't end up using it, you, m you might find it useful to have a bit of variation. Even if I do like a whole new drawing, I could I could get some mileage out of transforming it a little bit so it's not the same picture. Did you say they got rid of Marina's navel piercing? Huh? Are they cowards over there at Nintendo? Huh? Okay, I searched up Marina's navel piercing and I got a lot of stuff I can't show on stream. Never mind. What the hell? That's upsetting. Let's put the arm over here. Let's put the uh, registration point right where the butthole would be. So I'm thinking, let's see, the food goes in here, travels down the th esophagus, travels down the throat, hits the stomach right here, then it goes around the uh, large intestine, and the butthole should be right here. Shift Q. And, uh, the arm socket should be right here. And the leg should be right there. Okay. I thought of something than, uh, funnier than 24. Whoa, let's, let me hear it. 48 digestion idle animation. Yeah, every ref sheet should, uh, have a... Internal like large intestine digestive system reference you know what i mean 25 <laughs> got me i just got here i hear butthole talk um yep what else is new you know what you signed up for vor yeah that's right Japan was probably okay with the navel piercing, but America got all righteous and whined about it. Uh, who knows? Uh, who knows? Probably, though. I think you're probably right. I wonder, though, if there's, like, regional differences. It's like, um, four kids anime edits where they change, like, cigarettes to, like, lollipops and stuff. I don't know. <sighs> kind of a cowardly move. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Oh, no, your character has a navel piercing? Oh man, these kids are gonna grow up and get navel piercings when they turn 18. Dude, I don't know, man. Some characters... You know, people have those in real life. You know, like, are you not gonna go to the beach now? Because some people might have navel piercings. And you might see them. Shield their eyes. They're too pure. I love how China censors blood. Oh, is that true? I think I've seen that before, where they, like, turn the blood white. I don't- I can't believe that. That cannot be true, right? 
Naval piercing kind of cool though. Oh no, they got him already. The youth has been corrupted. They censor blood and anything regarding death? Huh? I don't know, man. <laughs> that just feels too silly. They turned the blood white in the arcade game Metal Slug. Huh? Huh? Can't show skulls? I mean, fine. That's fine. It's not... I mean, that, like, turning blood white is funny, but turning, like, hide, skulls, whatever. That's crazy. I don't know. I, I, I just, I don't get it. You're not allowed to Twitter laugh? Huh? Wait, what? What is Twitter laugh? What's the Twitter laugh? Because of the skulls. I'm so confused. Oh, the skull. Oh, yeah, <laughs> the skull emoji. Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. All right. Well, I literally have finished what I wanted to do today. And uh, I think I might call it. We've been streaming four hours. Oh, my gosh. This shouldn't take me four hours. But, and here we are. Do they not have the skull emoji in China? Oh, yeah, that's so interesting. I wonder what... Well, China has, like, their own, like... Like, China, uh... Chinese, um... I don't want to say Twitter users. Chinese netizens, I, I guess you would call them. Netizens. People who use the internet. They have their own brand of unhinged emojis. Chinese panda emotes. Let me find them. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, they have their own Wojaks, like, it's the shit that looks like this. <laughs> Dude, they're all, they're all insane. I, like, I literally don't know what's going on. They, they're awesome, yeah. They're, I love that. It just goes to show, I mean, like, you can censor all you want, but people are going to be crazy. People are going to be unhinged no matter what. Like, you're not... Just because you turn the... If you turn the blood into white liquid, you, it might even make people more unhinged. I would, I would dare say, so... There you go. It just makes them more powerful. It's like nine generations of all from Mojax. I know, it's like literally cursed levels that we haven't even, we can't even comprehend. Oh, <sighs> all right, well, I think I had a really productive day today. So thanks for um, keeping me company. Um, My room's getting really dark. It's getting dark, it's getting cold, so we better uh, end stream so I can get warm. Let's see who's on right now. Let's see. Cinder's on, but I think he's ending. Let's see who else is on. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Who should I raid? Oh, oh, you know what? I'm yawning, but I'm allowed to yawn because it's the end of my stream. So I think we're okay. Um... I don't know how long uh, Slurpee is going to stream for, but... She's been going for almost four hours and is playing Fortnite right now and seems really into it. So why don't we uh, say hi? I don't remember if I've ever rated Slurpee, to be honest. Slurpee is an incredible artist, really sweet, and is playing Fortnite, hell yeah. Let's do... Raid... Slurpee do... Okay, oh my here you God, go. It looks like piss. Um... What should the raid message be? I don't know what the raid message should be. Uh, let's make the raid message, uh... 
Drank the Fortnite, no. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. I was gonna make it drink the Fortnite potion, but that's literally what a chug jug is. Maybe uh, something Romeo and Juliet sealed with a kiss related? What else was I talking about today? Slurp jerp. I don't know what that means. Dude, we're just gonna we're gonna we're gonna make it not unhinged. How about? Oh ha oh yeah, it's Pi Day. Happy Pi Day. It's a Pi Day raid. I don't know. That's wholesome. I like it. All right, the raid's gonna start soon. Thank you so much for hanging out. I'll be back this weekend, afternoon, Eastern time. See you soon. Bye, everyone. Love you. Goodbye. Bye.